hopefully this is adjusted enough. Light isn't too bad, got a little bit of a light coming in. Hey, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Digital Ideas. My name is Connor Doobie. Really appreciate you joining in with us today. Uh, I'm here to provide you with resources, tools, information, tips and tricks on all things business to business sales and marketing. So again, thanks so much. This is Digital Ideas. Probably have 20 plus other vlogs that you can go check out. YouTube, follow on, uh, on my LinkedIn page, Instagram, etc. I'm everywhere that you guys are, okay? Also, by the way, not sure if you're aware, we have just finalized, just launched a brand new webinar, which is called The Missing Links to LinkedIn Success. So if you want to check that out, we're gonna provide you everything that you and your company's leaders need to know about profitable social selling on LinkedIn, um, our unique seven step strategy to build more relationships, create more brand awareness, and uh, create more sales opportunities ultimately, which most people struggle with. They're not, they're not accomplishing that on LinkedIn. So our webinar is really here to kind of lay out those, uh, lay out the missing pieces for you. Hence the name, the missing links to LinkedIn success. So if you want to register for that, be sure to go to activeblogs.com forward slash webinar. Okay, activeblogs.com. I love that at the end. Forward slash webinar to register for the LinkedIn success webinar. Today, what are we gonna be talking about? We're talking about hashtags, baby. Hash tags, okay. Using hashtags on LinkedIn. Most people are doing this wrong. I'm gonna rewrite this, because uh, this looks like garbage. I'm looking at it right now. Okay, so hashtags are these weird, like, mythical tools that people don't really understand how to use, especially on LinkedIn. There's, there's two main areas that hashtags should ideally be providing value for you if you're using this platform or any other platforms really, any other social media platforms, whether you're social selling individually or this is part of an initiative, the content your company's posting. Ideally, hashtags are used for A, being discovered, so making your content discoverable, shareable, findable and B finding other people and engaging with other people that are using relevant hashtags. Now I've recognized pretty early on most people are just purely doing this incorrectly. So let me give you an example. Instead of hashtag like even if I were to hashtag hashtag digital ideas, okay? Digital Ideas is my vlog, which is dedicated to B2B sales and marketing. If I'm hashtagging Digital Ideas, people aren't looking up Digital Ideas into LinkedIn. What they are looking for is hashtag, and they're not even using hashtags. So just so you know, this hashtag is just a way to tag your content, but what they're actually searching is something like content okay content marketing ideas so they would look up hash they would go to go to LinkedIn and search content marketing ideas or B2B marketing or sales strategies or social selling okay social selling sales strategies b2b marketing these are discoverable discoverable hashtags so when I'm trying to promote this vlog there's no reason I should be using this and you also find reverse engineer what it is the people are looking for who you're trying to get your content in front of. Now, the second important thing that you should be using, using hashtags for is engaging. So using hashtags 
to actually engage to engage on LinkedIn. And the way you can do that is simply go to the search function, go type in a keyword, say you're an IT company, for example, and you're um, looking to provide value to other people that are posting or sharing content about managed services or partners. Let's take an example like you're trying to sell to a franchisee or something like that. They may be posting content about the value of franchising. So you could type in franchising to LinkedIn, find all the content that's been shared and hashtagged or has keywords that fit within that, and then go comment, like, go to that person's profile. Uh, I mentioned a lot of other vlogs, profile viewing is profoundly powerful. And, and that's how you can also use hashtags to be engaging. And you're continuing to build awareness create value that way. So keep in mind, hashtags should be used for two main purposes, allowing your content to be discovered and then allowing you to discover other people's content. You can't do that if you're using irrelevant keywords within your hashtags. That was Digital Ideas for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to check out our webinar as well. I hope to, I mean, we are, we're gonna deliver some massive value as to how to start using LinkedIn way more effectively than you are right now. Most people have been using that platform for a really long time and just aren't getting out of it what they feel they should be. So activeblogs.com forward slash webinar. You can register right there. Um, let me know if you have any questions, topic ideas. Just give me a shout. Let me know you saw this vlog. I'd love to hear from you guys. Talk to you next time.